Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to another video and today we're going to learn base design for you boys. This is going to be my personal duo base that I use uh, on a regular basis. Man yeah, boys, without further ado, let's get straight into the design, alright? Alright, so what you want to start off with is just uh, making two high raised foundations like this. And you can also place two lower ones like this. Uh, but this is going to be the starter. And just a simple 2 by one like this with a... Uh, wall for it, pull that in with a garage door, or whatever you're starting off with. Uh, grab a TC, put it on this side, put it on the left side of the base. Uh, and also you can fit around five boxes right here, but for now we're just gonna do two boxes. And make, make sure to have a frame right here with a garage door that's on it. But right now we're just gonna fit three boxes at the start, uh, just like this. And also place your... Um, workbench right here and as well you can fit your two sleeping bags right here and if you guys want to uh, you can fit one or two furnaces i usually only put one it makes mobility a, a lot better all right so if you guys want to start expanding what you have to do and uh, just place walls like this and then half walls over it uh, make sure you place your roofs as well and I also have a raised foundation like this so place a half wall up here as well as a floor right here this is where the bunker is going to be. And now, uh, b before you do start doing anything else, I would recommend placing the furnaces out here now before you upgrade anything to sheet metal or armor because it's going to be pretty hard to uh, place them if you have a sheet metal foundation or something like that. Or just like that. And then, uh, before you want to do anything, also you want to come out here. Uh, add, add yourself just one piece of honeycomb. I usually just do... Uh, do it in cheap miles so I don't have to go back and upgrade it again. Uh, just like this. There you go, you're set now. And now you might want to start upgrading your base. I usually do the just the core uh, armored here and also here as well. There we go, make sure to have your frames also sheet metal at least, so you have a lot more space in the base. Uh, so just add your door right here, I usually have it inwards. Uh, but right now, what you want to do is you want to add your 4 box loot room that you're going to have here on the floor. Because when you have the bunker, it's going to be extremely hard to place them. Uh, next to impossible probably. So just like this. Make sure you fit them close to the wall as possible. Then you should be able to fit this one. Like that. There you go. And also, make sure to place your two roofs right here, which is going to be the bunker. You might have might take a little while. I usually place this one first. This is much easier to place. And upgrade it to armored. And then also, you can fit two more boxes here if you want to. It has, a re it has really good storage in the core, which I really like about this base. And as well, you can fit two boxes up here. I usually place them pretty close, so they're easier to access. Like this. And then also, make sure to add your triangle right here. And you can fit even more boxes. I do like my box base. Like that. There you go. And now... Uh, if you want to go ahead and seal the bunker, all you have to do is place a whole, uh, low wall or a half wall right here, which will seal it from the outside like this. But for now, I'm going to remove that. And now you want to head into the TC room again. Place your normal triangle, just like that. And then you can add yourself two more boxes up here. Usually what I do is I place two boxes here and as well as a campfire. You can also fit a small box, but I usually put a campfire there for easier access and also make sure to put your two small boxes which fit right about here and also one under the workbench and as well as you can also fit one here I'm gonna have to move the bag I'm not gonna do that now but yeah all right and then the rest um, I would recommend just you know on this one there we go I'll just fill in this one right here and also here as well fill in like this I usually like to keep this one armored, just like that, and this one down here as well. 
There's no really necessary buy, you should have a like that, that's some extra H gun laying around. But there you go, just make yourself a jump up right here with a garage door. And as well, you have your furnaces sitting in here. Alright, now you want to come over to the outside. Usually what I do first, I just do my jump up like this. And then I start with the honeycomb as soon as possible. So what you want to do here, there's a raised one right here. A low one right here. And then you seal it up like this. Do it on every side so you get the most... So you get them pretty accurate. like this and now you can add honeycomb on all these sides right here and also when you come over here what I do is I just place a low foundation like that and also a better foundation like this and just add it like this and then add yourself a door as well as Honeycomb right here, and then place yourself a furnace to for a jump up. It's gonna be pretty hard to have something else as a jump up since you're only in a triangle. And then make sure to place your door as well. All right, and now you want to come over here. And uh, what I usually do, I have the frame going on right, and just seal it all up just like this. And then we can add three furnaces right here as a jump up over to the roof. The wall or the roof, and then make yourself another jump up. Alright, and now when you come over here to the second floor, uh, you're gonna add your two uh, honeycomb loot rooms. These count as honeycomb as well as loot rooms, since you will have four boxes right here, and then a window. So do the same on this side. I usually have this one facing uh, the front door, so it's easier for depositing loot. There we go. Add your window, and also right here, you can either fit furnaces if you want to cook a lot, or if you want to have uh, some more storage. I usually just place vending machines like this. Make sure to do the disable broadcasting as well. And right here you can fit three more furnaces which will also act as honeycomb since they will be sealed in like this. And then uh, add yourself a wall right here. And some more wall frames like this where you will fill in with garage doors. There we go. Now we're basically done with the second floor, you can also place some boxes around here if you want a research table, a repair bench, that works too, doesn't really matter. Alright, and uh, we come to the th third floor now, uh, usually what I do right here, just seal it all up like this, and then wall here, wall here, and also a wall here, this will be the bedrooms over here, so you seal up the... Um, top and also wall right here and the jump up right here and you can also fit some more doors over here I usually just have one right here and one right up here well, make sure you finish your roof first place your frame and there you go and now when you come in here what you want to do is just add some wall frames uh, what I usually use here is just normal double doors because they're easier to open and then uh, you want to you want to fit your uh, locker right here as well as your bed fits right about there do that on the same side then over here you can also fit yourself a little uh, loot room which I usually just do simple like this like that and then add another window which you can also seal up with windows I usually don't do it but not really necessary Fill that up as well. And then you can also add a door too. I usually just add one here. Not really need it anymore. Alright, right now uh, you're gonna need have to add some more honeycomb. So what I do here, I just go around on the front door side and this side in the back and then just add some foundations like this. Uh, 
And there we go when you're done with that. You can also add your stuff on the door here if you feel like it. Or just like this. There you go. Place your door. And also, and also you can fit some shotgun traps right above here. I usually just put two. I don't really need a 4-3. Right, well, now you just want to fit in the honeycomb. Like this. And there you go. When you are done with that, you can start doing your TCs. I usually have these as just stone. So what you want to do here at the front door side and the back side, just want to add foundation stone like this. And then right here, you want to go three half moons out, as well as a foundation and a rise triangle. Then you just want to remove, remove the thing, and then follow back with some foundations. As soon as you hit this point, add three triangles like this, and do the same on the other side. And now, when you come over to this side, uh, use one up. Continue with three full moons out, as well as a square and a triangle, and then remove the axis triangles that you want, and then just continue with the foundations until you hit the red. And you want to add three foundations to the side like this. Remove these two, and do the same on the other side, just like that. And then now. Uh, now what you want to do, on these ones that has a triangle, uh, two triangles on each side, you want to put a triangle, a square, and then another triangle, remove the axis, and on here, you want to add three triangles, and then remove the first two you place, and do the same on the other side. And there you go, when you have done that, you can also add your TCs if you haven't already done so. So what you need is just a double door, a, uh, a glass window and a TC. And then just hand like this, and then a frame right here for the door. And as well as your TC and your window of course. And do that on all four sides. And then there you go, when you are done with that, you can start with your wide gaps. All you have to do is just place uh, wall frames all around them like this. Make sure they go all the way up to the top as well. you want to just fill in these gaps make sure that the that the floors are connected with the ones on the outside and not on the inside because then it looks like this which is not great let's do it on the whole side just like this shouldn't take a long time there you go and now what you want to do just add a bunch of windows all around like this And there you go, when you're done with that, you can add your inside, there you go, just do that, add a jump up right here, 
and you can add a a window right here and then a wall frame and then another window window wall frame window and just fill the roofs in make sure that you jump up over here as well so what you want to do here just place your windows down as well as a double door i usually use double doors there as well they're easy and they're faster to close and uh, open and then now when you come over here uh, i usually add a lot of like these wall frames all around just for some extra stability because sometimes it, uh, it likes to not give me enough stability when i build which is not great at all so just fill that in on all the sides just like this and there you go now you can start adding your roofs the ones that are connected to your base make sure fill those in first and then now just make sure that these are connecting to the wide gaps now you might wonder uh, these gaps they are really big so usually what i do for that i just go around with roof triangles all around like this And uh, there you go. And now with these gaps, they're pretty hard to see through. You can still see through them a little bit, but it's not. It's not. Our, it's not a big hassle. All right. So now, uh, just add some extra uh, wall frames. Just go up like two or three for the windmills that you will be using. If you don't use any windmills, that is fine. You don't have to. Well, I usually use them for turrets and stuff outside the base. Then go ahead and just place them like this. And you can also add some netting if you want, but they but they do kind of get destroyed after you take the alley, which is kind of a big hassle. But alright, so now just add some finishing touches like in the like the embrasures of your choice. And also on these square ones, you can also add some ramps like this. I usually use them, they're pretty nice, you don't have to stand up and shoot. And also on the triangles ones, you can always just add some boxes here to stand on if you want to crowd shoot. Uh, Alright, so uh, next step is the compound. What I usually do, I go three on the third square out. I just do the simple gateways. Windows, wall frame, like this. You can also add another frame if you want. There you go. Translation. And there you go. And now, uh, when you're done with that, you wanna, of course, add your metal uh, barricades so you don't you get those grubs in your base stealing from your large furnaces. Usually, what I do, just place two vertical like this, as well as a horizontal, just up here. And then you remove the axis foundations. Do it on all all four sides. And uh, there you go, when you are done with that, you can start adding your compound. Uh, sometimes it might be very tricky, you might get holes in your, in your walls, but it should be easily doable. Just place them a little bit on the outside, like this, and you should be fine.
And uh, there you go. And now you can add some large furnaces wherever you want. And you can also connect some turrets up here in the compound. But I'm not going to show you that today because you can do your electricity however you like. There's no really specific that you have to do. Alright, but that's going to be it for the video. If you guys have enjoyed this base design, and make sure to like, comment, and share. And also, make sure to subscribe as well. And I'll uh, see you guys in the next one. Peace out.